since I'm using three quarter inch copper from my tankless water heater and then connecting it to the PEX, I figured I would show you how I go about doing that. I'm coming out of the bottom of the hot water heater with three quarter inch copper. It makes a 90 degree and then I'm using what they call a shark bite fitting. Now this particular fitting will allow me to connect on one side copper and on the other side PEX or you can go copper on this side, copper on this side, or you can go PEX on this side and PEX on this side. This is a really cool fitting, but let me show you how to work with this because there are a couple things you need to know. Now I'm going with, like I said, three quarter inch copper for my supply line going into the hot water heater and then coming out of the hot water heater, I'm going back to PEX. So I'm using blue PEX for my supply and I'm using red PEX as it comes out of the hot water heater. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna start with the copper. Now, when you use one of these cutters, what happens with this cutter is it puts a kind of a burr at this edge and it kind of leaves kind of a sharp edge right here. You can kind of see it. So my recommendation is after you've cut the copper to grab just a file and take off any kind of burrs on the inside of the copper. And the reason why you want to do that is because there's a plastic piece right here on the inside. And this has been one of the big complaints among homeowners as well as plumbers is that sometimes these get ruined. And I think the reason why is because it's got a, a sharp edge right here. So I've always, whenever I've worked with these, I always file this down before I go and um, slide it into the uh, shark bite fitting. But another thing you want to do, this is a huge pro tip, buy one of these. Okay, this has several functions, but for the copper, what you're gonna to wanna to do, since I'm using three quarter, you find the three quarter inch side. You're gonna stick the piece in there, hold it in place, take a Sharpie. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to mark the piece of copper. And the reason why you're gonna mark the piece of copper is so that you know how far to push the piece of copper into the shark bite fitting. Um, the reason why they leak is because you only get them in so far. Um, if you get them in all the way, you don't have a problem with them leaking. Now, when you're working with the shark bite, this piece in the middle, this piece of plastic, it moves in and out. You want to get it to where it's sticking out of there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of copper, and you're going to get it right in the middle to where it slides in real easy. Take your hand and then just push until the line goes all the way up. That's all there is to it. If you want to release it, I'm going to turn it around to release it. They make this horseshoe. Now, I call it a horseshoe. It's a release for the shark bite fitting. On this side, it's kind of an open cavity. On this side, it's flat. I always use the flat side. I've been told that you're supposed to use this side. I've been told that you're supposed to use this side. I don't know which is the correct way, but for this video, I'm going to do it the way I've been doing it for years. Now, this will slide onto a piece of three quarter inch copper or PEX, okay? What you're gonna do is you pull it in. You're gonna pull the copper and the fitting together, okay? So I'm pushing with this hand and I'm pulling and I'm twisting as I do, then I'll pull it. So I push them together, I squeeze down here and then I pull the fitting out. Pretty simple, okay? So I'm gonna put it back together. Oh, put it back together, come on, grab the piece. You gotta pull it out of there. Get it right in the center again. There's my line, and slide it in there. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you do the PEX. The PEX is, there's a couple things you have to do with the PEX, and I'll show you why. We're gonna go ahead. When you're cutting PEX, you buy a cutter like this. Do not use a hacksaw. Do not use a sharp knife. Do not use a utility knife. Buy one of these. Do not use one of those PVC cutters that ratchets. Do not use one of those use this this is made for PEX. okay so this is what i recommend so we're just going to cut a little bit off and i'm going to show you how it cuts that's it okay because this edge right here that i just cut is sharp and sometimes ruins the shark bite fitting on this gadget again you're going to go to this size it slides in there right here you've got three cutters for the different sizes you're going to twist the PEX clockwise. And what it's doing, as you can see where it's taking off that little burr right there, okay? You can kind of see the little burr right there that it just took off. 
Okay? That's what you're trying to do. You can kind of see it. You also keep the piece in there. You're going to use your Sharpie again. You're going to mark it. Okay? If you don't mark it, you won't know how far to push it in. Okay. If you look at the edge, you can see where it's white right here. That's the edge that it took off of the uh, PEX so that when we put it all together, it works correctly. Okay, right here, you do the same thing. Make sure you've got this piece coming out. There's your line. Just make sure you get it up in there. And be gentle when you're, you know, don't force it at the beginning. You want to make sure that that line, that little fitting right there, you can see it hanging out. You want to make sure that it gets in. Okay, there, now we got it. Grab onto it and then just push. That's all there is to it. This is how you go from copper to a shark bite to pecs. If you want to pull it apart, they make a half inch remover. And you, I'm not sure what this thing's called. You put it right there. You're going to pull it and you're going to put, pull the red tube toward my, I'm going to twist it and then pull. It's coming. Sometimes the pecs is a little stiff because this is a little bit more pliable, but you can see how it goes together. See, it just, there's, that's what that piece looks like. Here again, make sure it goes in there. Hey, push it right back in. So that's how you work with copper, with a shark bite fitting, with pecs. I really like these. I've been using these for probably seven to 10 years and I've never ever had a problem with one leaking. I spent the 10 bucks for this. I spent the $10 for this. So these are the two items that you definitely want to have for working with pecs. These are about, I think they're two or three dollars a piece per size. And I usually work with three quarter and half inch anyway. But this is how I've done every one of my jobs that I've done. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and we're going to get on to the rest of the video.